Pioneering autism research is being done at the Hospital for Sick Children. Geneticists are analyzing the DNA of people with autism in a project that could one day change how the condition is diagnosed and even treated. Maribel Tarouk explains how that data is being shared. It's groundbreaking research on the genetic makeup of people with autism. Led by geneticist Dr. Stephen Scherer, the team has studied the genetic sequence of hundreds of people. They've discovered even autistic siblings can have different genetic mutations. We think of them now as snowflakes, individual forms of autism for each person. For Shelley Brazer, whose four-year-old son Io is autistic, it's confirmation. It's nice to have some evidence-based research into that sort of individuality of, of autism. This is DNA. Sick Kids has partnered with Autism Speaks and Google. It aims to identify gene mutations that lead to different forms of autism, which could ultimately lead to an individualized diagnosis and treatment plan. You need to really uh, categorize what is going to be the best medical approach for that individual. This is what we call personalized medicine. The project is progressing so well that Dr. Scherer expects to have the genomes of 10,000 individuals sequenced by 2016. And in a scientific first, all of that data will be stored in the Google Cloud, an open source research platform for any researcher or scientist anywhere in the world to access. We think it's going to be the, the example, the gold standard for every other different medical condition that's being studied in the research area over the years to come. Brazer, who's also a senior therapist at the Geneva Centre for Autism, hopes it could all lead to more funding. They need to gain skills, they need to be successful as they grow older and into adulthood, and we need programs out there that's going to support that. It is in the hope for answers. So far, only Canadians have had their DNA analyzed, but in the coming months, it will go worldwide. Maravel Tarouk, CBC News, Toronto. Some incredible work being done at Sick Kids. Coming up to the top of the clock, it's been 70 years since the liberation of Auschwitz. Our CBC cameras traveled with Holocaust survivors as they returned to the notorious concentration camp.